Guys, you gotta see this. This is so funny right now to me. <laughs> you guys will laugh too, my boy squad. I'm laughing at this, look. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. So this is Cypher and Ula, right? This dog is a Jack Russell. It belongs here at Sonia's garden. And just discovered that Ula also has a limping leg. Look at her, see? And these dogs like each other. And Cypher also has a limping leg. Only it's the other side. They're both limping. These are both limping dogs. But apparently Ula has been limping for years. Cypher, you guys are a match made in heaven. <laughs> This gentleman just told me that Ula is super malikot. Like, she runs around so much and she's so active and one day they just saw her limping and she just continued limping for the rest of her life. Saiz, I hope you don't continue limping for the rest of your life. OMG Mabuhai squad, check out that gorgeous, massive butterfly. It is so big guys. See it? It's going around eating, drinking the nectar from the flowers, but while pollinating them too. See it? It's so beautiful. What an awesome butterfly. All right, gonna try to get the dog to poo. Good day, guys. How are you doing? First of all, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Sonia's garden um, in Alfonso Cavite in the Philippines. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button. Join the Mabuhay squad if it feels right. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Guys, look at this garden. Sonia's garden is like pure garden goals, guys. Now, um, if you are just joining us, RJ, my partner and I, have been taking this awesome bed and breakfast masterclass um, here at Sonia's garden, hosted by Sonia, who owns this garden, and her team. She's a wonderful lady. We've learned so much, guys, and seriously, what they done here in Cavite Alfonso is just amazing and so inspiring guys it makes me so excited to start gardening and like growing our fruits and vegetables and stuff for our Mabuhay squad farmhouse which we are building not too far from here actually yeah Sonia and her team have been so kind you guys got to see the past vlogs seriously they have prepared flowers and herbs to like give us Sonia's like I'll give you trees you need to forest your place I'm I'm like, yes, I know, that's what I wanna do! I wanna build a food forest! Really kind. We obviously can't take the flowers and plants now, but the team has agreed to hold them for us uh, for when we're ready to take them in, which will probably be in about three months. I can't believe it, guys. Can you believe that in almost three months or, or so, we'll be ready to move to the Mabuhay Squad Farm? It's like happening fast now, guys. It's like quickly approaching. I can't believe it. Inside. <laughs> I was joking around saying like in our future neighborhood the farmhouse everyone in, in the subdivision wakes up to the sound of like roosters But as soon as we move in they'll wake up to the sound of cypher barking <laughs> I kind of want to do this too. like see big bodies of water. Oh wow look at the size of that huge Trap jaw ant. Awesome. Okay, anyway, sorry, got distracted. Little bodies of water like this in this really cool pot filled with flowers. And the mosquitoes don't like to lay their eggs here because of, you know, the smell from all of these botanicals from the flowers. Um, but also, this water is changed regularly. But it just looks so nice and peaceful and it smells great. Really cool, right? What a gorgeous, gorgeous garden. Wow. This place is garden goals, guys. And literally, this garden just extends super far. It's just so big. Sonia was inspired by English gardens um, when she lived in England. Apparently she like stayed in England guys and was inspired by uh, by the gardens there and so she decided to recreate that sanctuary here in Cavite, Philippines. Really amazing, right? Okay guys, we're back, our final day of class for this master class. And guys, she's doing a segment on cicadas. How awesome. All right guys, it's uh, lunch break again. 
had a delicious, delicious meal. Um, <laughs> Cypher's here playing with Misty, one of his girlfriends. Okay, okay, easy, easy, easy puppies. M Misty is a Maltese, and she's one year old, so about the same age as Cypher. <laughs> Mabuhai squad, so we're continuing with the interactive section of today's class, which is a tour. Um, we saw their kitchen, we're heading to see their laundry room now, but guys, we're about to see something coming up really, really cool. I've been waiting forever to see this. Oh my gosh, Mabuhai squad. Oh my! Check it out, guys. Guys, meet Wilbur. Hi, Wilbur. This is the famous pig of Tita Sonia. Here you go. Here's some cucumber. Oh. And this one is Hotot. This is Hotot. And this is Wilbur. It's so funny, like Charlotte's Reb. Oh, so cute. Reminds me of Sangol, a pig we, RJ and I, used to have. Oh, so cute. So these pigs are just pets. They're not for food. Wilbur comes out whenever he wants, but that's Wilbur's home, I guess. And this here is Hotot's home. Oh, Hotot, you are so cute, sis. Can I pet you? All right. Do you allow petting? Yeah. Oh. Yes. You're so cute. Do you like your belly rub too? Do you like your belly rub? No pig can resist a belly rub. Okay, this one can. <laughs> oh, he's going in. Okay, perhaps I'm not the most pig compatible guy. Maybe he knows I had pig earlier for lunch today. RJ, do you miss Sangol? Yeah. I miss Sangol too. We cry. Sangol the pig. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so what we're doing now is the class has divided into groups of four and they announced that we would have to work on like this group project. And as soon as they said that, I knew exactly what the activity would be. What we have to do is we have to design our fantasy bed and breakfast and we had to answer three questions. The first question was, what makes your bed and breakfast unique, right? Second is, what experiences can people expect at your bed and breakfast and third what is on your menu at your bed and breakfast and guys before she even announced what the activity was i was already thinking ahead we're gonna call our place insecto villas meaning a bed and breakfast that promotes entomophagy eating insects um you know as a protein source and also conservation because insects are a foundational part of every ecosystem in the philippines as well and the philippines happens to be a hot spot guys for insects like in terms of biodiversity. The Philippines is as biodiverse in insects as countries like Madagascar. Did you guys know this? So we decided to have this insect villa bed and breakfast. Things you can do at our bed and breakfast. We can, first of all, the rooms. Each room will be named after an insect. So the dragonfly room. However, we'll name it, just so it's a Filipino thing, we'll name it using Filipino names like Kuliglig for um, cricket room, right? Or um, uh, Langam for the ant room, right? Various activities can include a butterfly atrium tour. We can also have a honey harvesting, like beehive tour, petting of rhino beetles show. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We can't wait. And our menu can feature food items incorporating insects. So, like a salad with, topped with, you know, mealworm, fried mealworms, you know, uh, cricket burgers, adobong crickets. And these are things that we Filipinos actually eat. Like in Pampanga, they eat adobong crickets. We also eat insect pupae, uh, ant eggs and pupae. So we can incorporate that into the menu. Oh my gosh, so excited about this. I wish this was real. <laughs> And to Movilas, guys, I can't wait to present. Can you tell? A plus student. Okay, the groups are presenting now, guys. Okay, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? RJ, you ready? <laughs> OMG Mabu High Squad, so it's our turn. Okay, let's do this. Okay, good evening everybody. 